started her film career at the tender age of 13 in her native Australia. Then her breakout role in the box office blockbuster Bridesmaids propelled her to stardom here in the U.S. and she's been taking on starring roles ever since. In her most recent film, Adult Beginners, she takes in her estranged brother whose life fell apart and she's the one who has to keep the family together and talking. Dad, what are you doing? Oh, I, just, I, I want to show you the new pool. Oh, no. Right, we just ate lunch, so. Come on, I want, I want Teddy to see the diving Oh, board. no, he's he's actually he's not here, Dad, so, you know. Whoa, is that Bruce Willis and his new hot young wife? <laughs> Looking good, Bill. Yeah, handsome. Yeah. Drop dead gorgeous dad. just walking through work. Don't go. No, where's Teddy? Go. Teddy's napping, Dad, so it's just us. Yeah. Oh. Can he swim? No, he's straight. <laughs> and Rose is here with us. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Thank Hi. you. Thank you. We love movies because many times they relate to our own lives. How much of this was something that you could relate to having a big family? I did a, a lot. I'm the youngest of four, so I could really relate to those complex relationships you have with your siblings. And I'm actually kind of more like the Jake character, which Nick Kroll plays. I can be a little bit forgetful and self-absorbed and like you know it's your nephew's birthday it's your you know and things like that have to be reminded to me so i did relate to it a lot yeah you know, i'll go ahead i was just gonna say talk a little bit about the onset dynamics because you've got bobby who's yeah. your real life love interest yeah. as well mm -hmm. and uh, nick kroll who is always hilarious yes um yeah. how did the movie yeah. come about for you how did nick pitch it to you uh nick yeah we met and i'm um, we hit it off straight away he's also from a really big family and uh, uh it was mm. kind of very we got along really well and we um yeah yeah, it was a first time director Ross Katz but he was he was brilliant um he had only done um he did this great film by HBO called Taking Chance with Kevin Bacon which um was very moving about a um an Iraqi vet which was uh not very different from our films so, but, um, but we, we had a good time yeah and working with Bobby was really fun I think you know they get a cheaper price because it's just one car to pick us up so everybody's happy <laughs> You save money too while you're at it. Exactly. I mean, this is a, it's, what's interesting about this, as you said, is it, it is about the fi family di dynamics. Can't mm. talk today. Family dynamics that we all have. And here it is. You've got the Nick Kroll character. Your brother mm. moves home to be somewhat nanny to your kid, and you're pregnant with another. Yeah. And starts to discover things about what's going on in his sister's life yeah. as well. Yeah. I mean, how much of that storyline is? is do you think what we all deal with in our everyday lives? I think uh, absolutely, yeah. And I feel like those, um, you know, what the character of Justine that I play, what she's going through, I think hopefully will be relatable to a lot of, you know, women who are juggling a million things and then this sort of self-absorbed, you know, brother comes back yeah. expecting all this attention and she's like uh, trying to manage everything. But it's very dealt with in a really uh, humorous way. It's never mm -hmm. heavy handed and it, it's a comedy. So um, so it's, it's uh, people are really taking a shine to it. So I'm really proud of it. But with it, all families, there's, it's a very fine line between mm. funny and crying. Yes, yes exactly. That's the thing. They can really wind you up so fast, family. You know, my brother or sisters can say one thing to me, and I'm like, you know, it can just get under your skin because they, they, they're sort of the witness to your whole life. So they know yeah. every version of you as you're growing up. So, it's, yeah, it's hard to escape their eyes when they can really, you know, see what's going on. Mm. What's amazing about your talent is your ability as well. I mean, you're Australian, obviously, but your ability to take on, it seems, any accent. Here, <laughs> an American accent. So can you give us Thanks. a little... <laughs> Teaser. A little American. Um, <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> on the spot. We have a lot of American television in Australia, yeah. so we're really used to, you know, hearing the sound all the time of how it sounds, you know. <laughs> you know, it's, it's very... More nasal. Yeah, yeah. it's like... Uh, but there's plenty of accents I can't do, like South African's very hard. Uh -huh. That's okay. really hard. French. Yeah, French is hard. I, I wouldn't yeah. touch that. British. <laughs> That's easy. I love That's that. easy. She's there got her list yeah. of don't touch. There, yeah. are, yeah. there are a lot of people who saw you at Bridesmaids and didn't know you're Australian. They say, oh, she's an American. I that's how no good you're Oh, that's a compliment yeah. to me. Yeah. I take that as a it compliment. Is. I told William yeah. that very Can you do a Southern Australian. American accent? <laughs> I, I've never done it. I would like to. That that would be, I think can it's a beautiful Can you play Pictionary? Yeah. I can. I know you can. But somebody else can't. And you want to name names? Um, well, LL Cool J. Yeah, yeah. He was my uh, <laughs> partner in crime the other night on uh, Fallon. And he, uh, anyway, yeah. he did say he couldn't draw, and he really can't. No. Oh, he's your honest. No sorry, trash talking LL Cool J. There you have it. No, no, Thank no, you, no. Rose. Congratulations <laughs> on the film. By the way, Adult Thanks. Beginners will be in theaters on demand and on iTunes this Friday.